Okay, we're going to give this another try. Um, so here I am at U of M Hospitals. Been here uh, 10 days, going on 11. And, um, you know, first couple of days I did a lot of just watching TV and sleeping because there really wasn't much else I could do. Um, I was in a lot of pain and carrying a lot of extra uh, fluids. And um, I decided to start getting out and about and walking on my floor whenever I could. And today, some girls with a library cart came by and they had books, magazines, and they had coloring books and crayons. And I thought that'd be fun. You know, um, coloring makes me feel, I don't know, happy. It reminds me of um, when I was a kid and we'd get together with all of the cousins and go to Grandma and Grandpa's house for whatever holiday or birthday it was. And um, we would be in the basement. There'd be a couple of the aunts down there, like Aunt Sharon and Aunt Kathy, maybe Aunt Debbie and my mom. And, uh, you know, we'd have all kinds of toys and different cousins would be running around like crazy and throwing balls and chasing each other. Um, jumping on mattresses, <laughs> uh, and uh, and then the, there would be a few at the table, coloring and doing crafts with my mom and Aunt Sharon, and uh, you could always find me for sure at the table. I'll look at I just colored outside the lines. Um, that is something that I've always enjoyed. At school, art was always my favorite class, and as activities, if if you had your choice of activities and one was playing, I don't know, dodgeball, and the other was coloring. I'd be coloring for sure. Um, <laughs> now, obviously, this is no masterpiece, uh, uh, but I'm, I find it relaxing, and and when I'm done, I've made something that is is fun and and pretty. Uh, my husband, on the other hand, Joshua Pomeroy, he is flipping amazing uh, with a crayon. Uh, he can make it look like a watercolor painting. Uh, that's one talented guy. You should check out um, his website and and our business website, and Pomeroy Joshua. Uh, dot com and Pomeroy Creative dot com, and get a glimpse of some of the things he's done. But he's been drawing and painting and coloring since he was like five, and. Uh, so he's got, you know, 25 plus years under his belt, and he is amazing. Now, I've been crafty and creative for about the same amount of time, but um, I haven't quite perfected the, uh, the art of coloring the way he has. Um, he does shading and all that kind of stuff. But I think when you're coloring, you know, it's not about uh, being the best or you know, about making a masterpiece. It's just about relaxing, being creative, enjoying yourself, which I kind of feel like anything you love doing uh, or anything that's worth doing, you know, enjoy yourself. It's your life. It's uh, it's important to have a good time um, and spread happiness. <laughs> like me here at the hospital, um, you know, I certainly wouldn't want anybody uh, calling me or texting me or messaging me and saying, oh, poor Laura, you've been in the hospital 10 days. You know, I I see other people around me and I can hear others hurting and suffering and I, I you know, I'm really not. I'm, um, it could be so much worse and I'm really grateful and blessed to be here because I'm being well taken care of by the nursing staff and the doctors here. And I also get to, in turn, sort of take care of them by, you know, not demanding very much of them and being grateful for everything they do for me and trying to make them smile and laugh when they come see me. Um, I keep my room smelling pretty for them. Uh, it's a relief to come in my room because uh, 
<laughs> some of the other things that they smell while they're out and about working aren't so lovely. And uh, I just, I enjoy being that kind of like ray of sunshine in their day. And, um, you know, I crack jokes when I can and, uh, uh, you know, make some laugh. And I just kind of feel like, you know, I got to consider it a blessing to be here. And almost my, my, uh, my job, you know, yeah, I, I have to deal with some health issues and I have my whole life and, and maybe will the rest of my life. But that's okay. I still, God is still my God. He's still my healer. I still trust him, even if the healing never comes. And in the meantime, while I'm here getting healing from qualified and educated uh, physicians and nurses and uh, even from the, the techs and the, the, the room service and the people cleaning my, my room, making my bed, um, mopping my floor, you know, I, I want them to know I appreciate them and that they're important and um, that, that the job that they do is, is important to all of us. Because uh, if the hospital got dirty and nasty, we'd all be sick and nobody would ever come to the hospital because it'd be do, doing the opposite of, of good for you. Um, so I guess I would just say, you know, Maybe you think you're dealing with something crappy and you think, oh, why me? Maybe think, you know, oh, gee, what is Mary Jane dealing with down the road? You know, um, like the guy next to me, he, he has to have a breathing machine. I can breathe uh, on my own. And, um, you know, I, I took a walk down the hallway today to get some exercise in my legs and, uh, I think I passed three people using a walker and attached to an IV pole and, you know, a breathing machine. And I'm just walking around. I've got wires attached to me for my heart monitor, but I'm free, free to roam. No wheelchair, no walker. Um, I just, there are so many people out there who have it worse than I do fighting terminal diseases, healing from major surgeries. And uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm blessed. And I've got God on my side taking good care of me. And he's provided me with an amazing team of physicians um, taking such good care of me. I'm so blessed to be able to go to U of M here. Uh, and to be taken care of the way that I am. Um, so when you're thinking, woe is me, stop and think, who can I bless today? Because trust me, <laughs> you'll end up receiving more joy and fulfillment out of that than you will thinking about how, how sucky your life is right at this moment. Because when you just focus in on yourself, you really can't see much. Uh, you get distracted by, well, you. <laughs> but if you, uh, you know, you back up and look around you, there's a lot more beauty in the world. There's also a lot more suffering. So just take it in. Think about it. And, uh, Think about somebody else, how you can make their day just a little bit better.